Yes, especially if someone gets hurt. Now, that expert also told us that North Lake and a bunch of other malls have likely held off on instituting a policy anyway up until recently or updated their policies up until recently because of the perception of that policy. But he says now is the time. Back in March, a single gunshot led to a massive evacuation and three people being treated outside North Lake Mall. They weren't shot, but they were injured in the chaos. A couple of months before that, there was a fight that led to a massive police presence also at North Lake. And that's just this year. Just as many students that you would have that will be gathering to have a good time, you'd also have a, 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 a small enough number. Uh, that were there for other reasons. Walter Bowers is a lawyer and former cop. We wanted to talk to him about the experiences he had dealing with incidents like that, namely at malls and more often than not involving teens. They're going to have to try uh, to do something because in reality, it's certainly impacting business and people's willingness uh, to go to a actual mall these days. North Lake Mall already had a policy on youth supervision. It was that those 17 and under couldn't be there without an adult after 5 o'clock on Fridays and Saturdays. It's now been moved up to 3 o'clock. In a statement about the policy, North Lake Management said our youth supervision policy is established so all guests can enjoy a safe, pleasant, and family-friendly shopping environment. Bowers noted that legally, there's also another consideration. The next time something happens, there absolutely could potentially be some liability. We spoke with a number of people at the mall off camera. Many didn't actually know about the new policy until we told them. There are also questions on how it will be enforced. There's likely not going to be any mandatory carding at the doors, but Bowers says it's going to be up to the mall to make sure it is equally enforced. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. So uh, to avoid any complaints or discrimination, uh, you're going to have to essentially put everyone out equally. Now, we do need to emphasize here, this is Fridays and Saturdays only after 3 o'clock. And it basically, the, the kind of reiterate here, if you are 17 or under, you have to have an adult with you that's 21 or over here at the mall. Otherwise, you're going to be asked to leave, and you will have to show proof of age if you are so asked. Now, uh, this will not apply. We do need to emphasize this. It will not apply to employees in the mall who are 17 or younger, though. So, there's that. We're live in Charlotte. Derek Dallas, Fox 46.